Hi everyone. Welcome to batch 228 in the freeze dryer. We did hamburgers again and the last time I did them I said I was going to try to squeeze extra ones on which is what I did. The last time I was able to get five and a half in a single layer by putting them one, two, three, like one at an angle and then half of one and two halves. So I thought about that and I really didn't like having half hamburgers. Eh, you know, when you want food, you won't be complaining about it. But so then I, I decided, you know, I thought that's really not a lot of meat and it's okay to, you know, it'll be okay to just stack it up like that. So that's what I did. I did 32 hamburgers this time and uh, the three trays were from the Aldi burgers, the restaurant quality Cargill ones. And these are the Walmart 32 pack. And the rest of them we cooked up because we needed space in the freezer. Because yeah, had to go pick up dog food. Didn't freeze dry as much as I was supposed to. So we had to make room in the freezer. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing today is uh, another load of dog food in the freeze dryer. But these hamburgers from Walmart, they're okay. But these ones from Aldi were much better. We actually cooked them, um, you know, to try them. So, I mean, these have a much better taste than these. But then again, um, well, I don't know what the fat content was. I didn't uh, even pay attention to that. But one thing I did notice over at Walmart, you've got to be careful they had some pretty cheap hamburgers, and I almost grabbed them. And then I looked at the ingredients. They've got wheat. They've got all kind of other things in them. It's still a, a meat burger, uh, you know, an animal burger, not a vegetarian burger. But all those additives I just didn't want in the freeze dryer. Excuse me, in my food. So let me show you the notes on this. And I apologize. I, I am I'm very tired and I'm not feeling well so yeah if I seem off it's because I am so what we have here this is batch 228 um, because they were frozen already I just did a seven hour freeze instead of a nine hour freeze and then I always up the dry cycle to 24 now on top of that uh, and this is just you know how I laid them so I would know and then Right there is how I did the other ones. One, two, three, four, yeah, five and a half. So this is how I laid these overlapping. And there were a total of 32. And this is the way to do it. And I, if I could fit another one on there, I would probably try it. But I don't see that working. Unless I cut some in half, which I'm not going to do. 32 is enough at a time. So that was the cost. It was 15 for the... Uh, Cargill ones, the 24 pack, and then $5 uh, for eight out of the Walmart pack because they were um, 32 for $5. The freeze dryer ran for 64 hours. Of that, 20 hours was added time. So this would have taken 44 hours, but remember, it would have taken a lot less, probably about, I don't know, 16 hours less. So this should have been right around 30 hours but I up this time to 24. So that's it. And this is how I'm packing those up. The other ones I, I stuffed six in a bag and you know, I just didn't like how that looked and stuff. So I think I'm just going to stick with four in the bags. And I actually finally got my phone battery in. So no more danger of my phone battery dying in the middle of anything. And I haven't had my videos up for a while simply because I have been told not to use my computer because it needs a fan. So I ordered a fan from eBay. I'm not sure if I'm going to try tackling that to put that in or if I'm going to um, just call the shop uh, and see what they charge you know, to just put in the fan, because if, if they can, you know, if it's 40 bucks and they can do it while I wait, you, yeah, I'll probably just go do that. But that's it. Uh, this is what I'm prepping today. Just the hamburgers in the freeze dryer, batch 228, and then we'll start batch 229. More dog food.
So let me know how you're feeling and what did you prep today? Be blessed, everyone.